Do you, mm. re- did you read up on like how it happened? I did not. Okay. So the plane was taking off in Paris. It hit a metal strip on the runway, which caused one of its tires to just explode, to blow out. And the debris from the tire blowout punctured the fuel tank. The whole thing went up in flames. It was like a 200 foot flame disaster. And then, wow. yeah, like you said, all 109 people on board, including the crew and the passengers died and four people on the ground died too. So yeah, the crash, I mean, this was the whole reason this whole thing went kaput or else we'd probably have, you know, planes that got you from Orlando to Singapore in like four hours or something. But the crash was a big deal. It was a real blow to the Concorde program. You know, they all had to ground Concorde planes right away. And there's a big investigation into what went wrong. So they found out the fuel tanks just weren't designed to withstand damage like that. And, um, it's pretty sad, but people were scared to fly after the crash. Understandably, I probably wouldn't have done it either. Yeah. And the Concorde program never recovered, which is super sad because it was a really cool plane, amazing engineering, um, but safety always comes first. And if you didn't know about this, like people listening to this who've never heard of this before, doesn't this just blow your mind? Like think yeah. about, like we didn't have cell phones but we had planes <laughs> that flew that twice the Mach speed two. of sound. <laughs> yeah. That's it's insane. So crazy. 